Early July 2025. In the mountains of Chile, an automated telescope scans the night sky. Part of NASA's ATLAS survey, a system built to spot anything new or dangerous approaching Earth. On one quiet morning, the software flags something strange. A tiny point of light moving far faster than the background stars. At first, the team thinks it's a glitch, a cosmic ray, a passing satellite. But frame after frame, the same object appears. Steady, consistent, accelerating through the dark. Then the numbers confirm it. Its speed, its path, its origin. All wrong for anything born in our solar system. For the third time in human history, we've found an object from beyond the stars. A comet that doesn't belong here. 3 i Atlas. We've seen something like this before. In 2017, it was Oumuamua, a mysterious object that slipped past the sun and vanished. Two years later, Comet Borisov followed, a true interstellar traveler, icy and bright. Now, six years after that, another visitor has arrived. 3i Atlas. It's moving through our solar system at nearly 58 kilometers per second. Fast enough to escape the sun forever? Astronomers believe it could be billions of years old, drifting since the earliest days of its home system. No one knows where that home is, only that it crossed interstellar space to reach us. And this time, we have the tools to study it properly. Hubble, James Webb, TESS, and more, each turning their eyes toward the newcomer. Hubble was the first to see it clearly. July 21, 2025, at more than 400 million kilometers from Earth, a single image captured through the vast dark showed a faint tear of light against a field of stars. At first, it seemed ordinary, and another fuzzy comet drifting through the void. But then astronomers noticed the streaked stars in the background. That blur wasn't motion from the telescope. It was motion from the comet itself. It was racing through space at nearly 60 kilometers per second. They zoomed in. What looked like a solid object was surrounded by a glowing veil of dust, sunlight scattering through icy vapor. That haze wasn't the surface, it was the comet's coma. A thin atmosphere made of gas and frozen fragments, billowing away from a hidden core. And when they calculated the size of that core, the result stunned them. Somewhere between 400 meters and 5 kilometers across, far smaller than the early estimates, the conclusion was impossible to ignore. 3i Atlas wasn't a massive alien asteroid, and it was fragile. A crumbling snowball from another star system, shedding dust as it crossed the deep. While Hubble watched in visible light, another telescope was preparing to look deeper. On August 6, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its mirrors toward the same faint traveler. Through Webb's infrared eyes, 3i Atlas looked nothing like before. The light wasn't smooth, and it carried chemical fingerprints etched across its spectrum. Carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, almost no water. That's not what astronomers expected. Most comets come alive as their ice begins to boil off near the sun. But this one was already venting gas long before that should happen. The data suggested that sunlight was hitting the surface and blasting jets of vapor outward. Tiny grains of dust were being launched ahead of the comet, scattering light back toward the telescope. Just when scientists thought they understood the comet's behavior, another telescope stepped in. One designed for an entirely different mission, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. It spends its days searching for planets around distant stars, recording tiny dips in starlight. But back in May, long before Hubble or Webb saw anything, TESS had already captured something unusual. Hidden inside weeks of archived data was a faint, moving point of light. When researchers stacked the images, the object brightened, not by a little, but by a lot. 3i Atlas had suddenly become five times brighter. No one expected that. The comet was still far from the sun, too cold for normal outgassing, yet its light surged as if it had awakened early. 3i Atlas was more active, more volatile, and far more unpredictable than anyone had imagined. From the mountains of Chile, the Gemini South Observatory caught its first clear image of 3i Atlas in late August. What appeared was breathtaking, a pale nucleus wrapped in a glowing haze and trailing behind it, a faint tail stretching farther than before. Weeks earlier, that tail had barely existed. 
Now it spanned more than 100,000 kilometers of space, a thin stream of dust following the comet's path. Each observation told the same story. 3 eye Atlas was heating up. The closer it moved toward the sun, the more violently it began to shed material. Astronomers used every filter they had, mapping the color of the dust, tracing the flow of gas around its core. Through those data, a picture began to form. Not a perfect sphere, but an uneven body spinning roughly every 16 hours. That spin might be what's shaping the tail, flinging dust into space with every slow rotation. Late August, one at the Gemini South Telescope in Chile, astronomers captured something unusual in the comet's light. Hidden in its spectrum was a sharp signal, a narrow spike right where cyanide appears. 3i Atlas was venting hydrogen cyanide gas into space. It sounds dangerous, but to scientists it was exciting. That faint signature meant the comet's ices were starting to sublimate, turning solid frost into vapor under sunlight. When other observatories confirmed the reading, the numbers were astonishing. 3i Atlas was releasing nearly 800 sextillion cyanide molecules every second. Even so, that's small compared to most comets. Another sign that this object doesn't quite follow the rules. By comparing the cyanide with another molecule, dicarbon, scientists noticed something else. The comet was missing many of the longer carbon chains we see in local comets. They call it carbon chain depleted. It's the same rare chemistry found in Borisov, our last interstellar visitor. That pattern hints that these ancient travelers might share a common type of birthplace, one colder, darker, and more distant than anything we've explored. But with only a handful of interstellar samples, it's still too early to say. For now, the cyanide signature remains one of the clearest clues to where 3 eye Atlas might have come from. As the comet drew closer to the sun, astronomers turned to a more delicate form of observation, polarimetry. Instead of measuring brightness or color, they studied how light from 3 eye Atlas was scattered. Every comet leaves a pattern in that scattered light a kind of fingerprint that reveals the texture of its dust. But what they found here was unlike anything seen before. 3 eye Atlas showed a deep, narrow, negative polarization. In simple terms, its light was twisted and aligned in the opposite direction from every other known comet or asteroid. Even Borisov, our previous interstellar visitor, behaved normally, but this one, it broke the pattern completely. The result hinted that its surface dust might be shaped differently, perhaps smoother, denser, or forged in an environment we've never encountered. One researcher described it as a whisper from a world built under different rules. Through that faint signal, we were seeing not just a comet, but the texture of another solar system, a place that formed billions of years ago under a foreign sun. While observatories tracked data and spectra, a different kind of discovery came from the ground. During a lunar eclipse in early September, amateur astronomers in Namibia pointed their telescopes toward the night sky. Among the red glow of Earth's shadow, they noticed something faint, a small emerald shimmer moving across the darkness. It was 3 eye Atlas. The comet had turned green. At first, scientists were skeptical. Comets can glow green when sunlight breaks apart diatomic carbon, molecules that fluoresce at a specific wavelength. But remember, 3 eye Atlas was found to be carbon chain depleted. It shouldn't have had enough carbon to glow at all, and so where did that color come from? Was the comet's chemistry changing as it neared the sun? Or had a fresh layer of ice and gas been exposed? Whatever the reason, the green hue became a symbol of its unpredictability. When something this strange appears in our skies, speculation is never far behind. Some voices in the media asked a familiar question. What if it isn't natural? The idea came from Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who suggested that 3 i Atlas might be more than rock and ice. Maybe, just maybe, alien technology. It wasn't the first time. Loeb made similar claims about Oumuamua years ago, arguing that its size and path were too precise to be random. But this time, the numbers didn't agree. Fresh data from Hubble showed a smaller nucleus and a perfectly explainable orbit. Natural forces fit the pattern better than anything engineered. Still, the debate sparked something useful. Attention. 
It reminded us how every new discovery invites imagination and how science answers it with evidence. For now, 3i Atlas remains what it's always been. Mysterious, yes, but entirely natural. A comet, not a craft. By late October, 3i Atlas will reach its closest point to the sun. It's perihelion. At just over one astronomical unit away, the heat will rise fast. No one knows what will happen next. It could survive the encounter, glowing even brighter as its surface boils away. Or it could fragment, breaking apart into clouds of dust and ice, vanishing as quietly as it arrived. For now, the comet is too close to the sun to observe directly. But telescopes are waiting, all preparing for the moment it reappears from behind the solar glare. When it does, we'll get another glimpse, maybe its last, before it drifts back into interstellar space. Every observation, every frame, is a small act of time travel. We're watching something that began its journey billions of years ago from a system we may never find. And yet, for a brief moment, that fragment of another world has shared our sky.